My family can't tell you all how much we appreciate the support and the kindness we felt from family, friends, and the entire community since my father was passing Sunday afternoon. In trying to decide what to say about my father tonight, I didn't want to repeat too much of what was already covered by others. I've heard all the stories about his life and work in a bed and his first few years in America. His time in the army, his orange soda factory, the work of rugs, and the pearl business with my mother. But my father was 48 years old when I was born. So I'm going to try to focus on my experience with him. What I will remember most was his diligence, his genuine good nature, and his zest for life. Growing up, both of my parents worked full time. My mother would take several long international trips a year, but my dad also traveled around the Northeast for a couple of days every single week. He spent many hours riding to Boston and around the other cities nearby, developing new customers and building the business through sheer persistence. He told my brother, David, that one very prominent jewelry store turned him down about 150 times before he finally won them over. Anyone else probably would have given up, but not my dad. He was usually gone three days a week, which as a very young child, I admit I did not like. I wanted my dad at home. I wanted to spend the time with him. As I grew up, however, I came to understand and appreciate the great importance of work ethic in life how much both my parents did to give their children better futures. He often told my brother, as car natas, or don't be afraid of work. My father was not only never scared of work, but almost always did it with a smile on his face. When I eventually joined him on one of his weekly road trips, I finally got to see how much all of his customers loved him. They were so sincerely happy to see him. And it wasn't just the people he worked with either. Pretty much anyone who ever met my father, even if they didn't know him well, would say he was always smiling, warm, friendly, generous with his money and his time, and almost never lost his temper. He made people feel special, but everyone also admired him for his honesty and his integrity. These aren't things I remember him explicitly teaching me often. They were more just expected. It was yet another way he taught me by example. Finally, no matter how hard my dad worked and how much time he gave to other people, when he spent time with his family, he knew how to laugh and enjoy life. He had a bunch of tapes of old Persian jokes in his car, and at home he would crack up at things like Mr. Bean and the Naked Gun movies. He loved to travel and took us all on multiple vacations every year. We explored both coasts of the US, Alaska, Mexico, the Caribbean, and went to Italy. And he was always so active and outdoorsy. He spent at least a half hour exercising every morning, but also loved to go for walks, bike rides, swim, hike. I'll never forget our bike rides to the Drives Night Bridge. He was well into his 60s for most of my rides with him, but didn't let that slow him down. And kept going into the 70s. With his pure enthusiasm, my father encouraged us to enjoy everything this world has to offer and every minute we have in this life. I was lucky enough to be by my father's side with my mother and brother Poi at the very end and we're just happy his suffering is over now. As much as we'll all miss him, I'm eternally thankful for the time I had with him and the lessons he taught me. Rest in peace, Dad.